Alrighty guys, this is Nick Sunblitz. I'm back with another video for you today. Today's video is going to be pretty long. I would estimate this video will take around 50 minutes, give or take uh, five or 10 minutes or so, because we're going to be doing a deep dive into tier eight tanks. Why am I doing that? Well, this year is the 10th anniversary of Blitz. Congratulations for all those people who stuck around. In August, we'll be getting some nice rewards, depending on how long you've played the game, some box with various things in it. Who knows what that will be? Hopefully, they'll be pretty cool. Seven years, you'll get something. Nine years, you'll get something else. Ten years, the ultimate bonus. But uh, before that, uh, Wargaming at the beginning of June announced they were giving away a free Tier 8 premium tank in the STRV81, which hopefully you picked up. By the time this video drops, it'll probably have been about two weeks since that happened. Free premium tier eight tank, you can't complain about that, right? At the end of June, we're gonna have this lotto, which is the first time they've done that. I picked up a few balls. I figure I'm a YouTuber, see what it's all about. Maybe I'll get lucky, maybe I won't. Uh, we'll just have to find out together in a, a few weeks time. But the thing is, I fully expect there to be an auction um, around probably the end of July or August because they did it for the first time last year. I'm sure it was successful and helped Wargaming rake in the dough. So why wouldn't you do it again? A long time ago, it was only once a year. They started doing it twice a year last time. I'm guessing because they have much more premium tanks to sell now. So they can just put a bunch in summer, a bunch in winter, and still plenty of tanks that you still can't get your hands on. So yeah, something to look forward to. And I thought, well, you know what? Maybe it's a good time to take a look at all the tanks in all the tiers six through 10 and give you my thoughts, how they stack up today in today's meta with all the changes and the buffs and things that have happened over the past nine a month. So I think I did one of these videos last November, but I think I'll add one other thing to my um, commentary this time, and that is I will tell you what price I think these tanks should go for in today's market. Um, competitive price and what price it should sell for are two different things. So a tank competitively could be worth 8K, but since it's older, maybe you should only be paying 6K for it. In the end, you have to decide how much you're willing to pay for a tank but uh, this guide may be helpful for you if you're new to the game and you're wondering which tanks you should pick up, which tanks you should grind, especially if you're looking for OP tanks and which tanks you should maybe not rush to pick up. So with that out of the way, let's get started. Starting off with the Glacial. Honestly, this seems to have gotten some sneaky little buff. Um, a while back in the armor department. Uh, I was up against it a while ago. I could not have to save the life of me. I think it was in my video on the ISU-130 on mines. I can't remember the name of the uh, video, so uh, I'm sorry about that. But if you know the video I'm talking about, yeah, it's it dropped sometime in June, for, so check that out. But yeah, it was a tough cookie to deal with. Um, so I'm actually gonna put it in okay. It's an okay tank. It's, it can do the business. It's an IS-3 variant. And like all IS-3 variants, they're solid. Uh, now, one thing I would like to add also is I'm trying to put myself in the driver's seat of the average player. 45 to 47, 8% around that zone. How well do, will they do with these tanks in their hands? If I give this tank to a pro, they'll do quite well with it. Maybe they'll say it's a good tank or a very good tank. If I give it to a fool, 38% player, they'll say this is a horrible tank. I can't do anything with it. That's because, well, the driver does play a part, right? So I'm just thinking of the average player, not a pro, not a noob. How will how well will they be able to perform with this tank on the battlefield contribution-wise? And that just doesn't mean doing damage, but you know, taking shots, uh, spotting, things like that. So I think this will get you okay. And the value, as it's a gold tank, I think around 5K. 
that seems like a fair price. I, hopefully, if you can get in the auction for 4K, that's what I think would be the number I'd want to pay. It's worth about 5K, I guess. Now, the 53TP is a tech tree, so we don't have to talk about price, but it is a very strong tank. And in a platoon, this is one of the strongest tanks in the tier, if you ask me. Tungsten shells is what you want on this tank, for sure. The armor works. It's decently fast. It can do a little bit of everything. Very, very solid tank. Even in a, an average player's hands, and even not a very good player's hands, it can still be deadly. The T59 pattern, unfortunately, is going into my yuck category. Why? The pew pew gun that doesn't have the best pen, doesn't have the intimidation factor, doesn't have the armor, has a little bit of speed, but nothing to write home about. Uh, but it is a premium tank, so I would say it's not as good as a glacial. I would pay around 4K for this, maybe 3.5 max. It's just something you want to have if you're a collector kind of thing. It's not a tank you want to have, oh, I'm going to go drive my 59 pattern. Nope, that's not the way most people do it. But if you like a challenge, who knows, right? But as I said, 3.5, 3K, somewhere around there. The Action X, even in the average player's hand, seems to do quite well on the battlefield. And I'm talking on the Asian server, okay? This is my experience from playing day in and day out, uh, seeing good players, great players, average players, and fools driving the tank. And I see it do quite well. It's nearly always higher on the leaderboard. So yeah, um, this value-wise, I think it's still around 7k, but... I think you'll be able to pick it up for around 6K, and that is a good deal. You can get it under 6K, it's a smoking deal. The Amex 1390, um, because it's got no armor, and most people don't know how to spot properly, it has to go into bad. Uh, if you are a very good player, I would put it into good, but if you're just the average player, they don't really know how to use spotting very, they don't know how to spot very well. They don't know how to take advantage of that three shell and the positions on the map to really take advantage of this tank. So goes into bad. Uh, the AMX 5100, you know, solid tank. Uh, can't complain about it. It's got those three shells, got more damage potential than the glacial, but doesn't have the armor. A little faster. Yeah, I'm going to say it's an okay tank. The AMX AC 47, um, it's got no turret, which is a detriment. Pretty simple play style, so I'm going to have to put it into okay. Just snipe in the beginning. You can use your speed later on. Yeah, the armor does work to a certain extent, but nothing to write home about. Likewise with the CDA 105. Easy play style. It's not hard for a new player to pick up a tank, hide in the bush, snipe for a while, then move in later. It's pretty standard stuff. The only problem is it's team dependent, more so than a tank that has a turret or that has a good armor. This one you have to rely on stealthiness and things like that so it goes into the okay category how much would i be willing to pay for it well i picked it up for i think 4k last year i think it's worth about 5k but i think uh 4k or under is what i would be paying for this tank nowadays amx cdc uh it just scrapes into bad uh, it's an he magnet pros will rip this tank apart um so you just got to be a little bit more careful but the gun does work it's it's got good pen if i'm not mistaken so you can rely on it a little bit more than let's, let's say the pattern the amx defender i mean it goes right here uh, alongside the amx 1390 very similar play style you know if you don't know how to spot you're not going to do very well with this tank you're too aggressive you get ripped apart in all these three tanks um sorry the price cdc i think the value is around 4k uh so i'm hoping you can pick it up around 3.5k that's all I would pay for this. AMX Defender, it's a little bit newer, so that gets a little bit of a, a umph. I would give it, you know, 4.5K maybe. It's worth about that too. It, it's not a tank you can count on unless you know what you're doing. The AMX M449 though is a tank you can count on. It's reliable. It can do a little bit of everything, gun, armor, mobility. Yeah, so to me it's the definition of a good tank and average players can do decently well in it they can help you know, uh, contribute to the team and value wise i still think it's worth 5k these days but i think because it's an older tank i'd pay 4k for this but yeah i mean it's all a tank the amx 30 though mm, don't see many average players play well in it 
um, somewhere between okay and bad. I think I'm gonna put it slightly better than these tanks, uh, but not by much. So it's just scraping into the okay category. I paid a little bit too much for this tank, but I was bored and I wanted a new tank, so I think I paid 7k. It's it's worth around 5k, maybe 5.5 because it's not that old, but nothing to write home about, unfortunately. The Astron Rex, um, the gun, it can get you in all sorts of trouble. And so I'm going to put it down actually here. Yeah, this is a weird tank, unique. Uh, I can't think of many other tanks that have the same feel. Maybe the Basante, which will be coming up soon. But I do well in it. I think it's a challenging tank. It's an interesting tank. And it's, a, yeah, I don't know why I do well in it. But I don't think the average player does. And it's easy to rip apart if... You've got a decently strong tank, I think. Uh, AT-15. I think it goes into okay. Um, all you need to do again is you know, snipe to begin with. The problem is you're more team dependent, but you can snipe in the beginning, uh, push on, push maybe with your heavies, stay with your heavies, so you've got the slow tanks together. Don't want to get left behind in this tank because it's slow. And you, if you're a top tier, you can be pretty aggressive and just move in with your heavies right from the get-go if you like. The armor will work. You'll get quite a lot of bounces, surprising against lower caliber guns for sure. And um, just wiggling will really help you out. So, yeah, um, I think it does actually okay on the battlefield. It can be a real pain to deal with if you come across one. You're like, uh-oh. And uh, you'll have to use Pramo sometimes, depending on what tank you're using, to get through it. Mm, yeah, it, it can it can out DPM you. Whew, yeah, painful tank to come across on the battlefield. The Barask. I see even average players doing quite well. So I'm going to put it into good. If I was a pro, I'd put it close to OP. Um, likewise with the Action A. These two tanks are very, very good tanks in good players' hands. But average player still seems to do quite well in this tank. Maybe because they just snipe in it and the gun does work at distance. It, it's agile. Yeah, and it, it'll get a few troll bounces. As for the price, ooh, I forgot to say about the Astro Ranks here. So let's do the Brasco, Brasco first, though. I think I would say this is worth about 7k, just it's not that old. It's definitely worth 7k. I think if you can get it for 6k, yeah, good deal there. But you might have to pay up to 8k, unfortunately. The Astron Rex, how much would I be willing to pay for this? I think 5k, unfortunately. Oh, it's not a very good tank, but it is not that old, so it gets a little bit of a bump there. Besante, slightly better than the Astron Rex. It's the only tank in the game, I think, that's uh, similar. Uh, it's got better armor, so it goes over here. Again, uh, don't see them do very well, but I also don't see them do horribly either, usually. The Carnivon Defender, um, I think it's going to scrape into here. Not by much, but it seems to do a bit better than these tanks here. Um, as for oh, the price, I'm sorry, Bisonte 45. It's not that old. I think I'd be willing to pay around 5k for this thing. That's what I think it's worth. Uh, yeah, 5k seems about a fair price for it. Uh, it's not that old, but... Hmm. Carnivon Defender. Again, around 5k. It doesn't seem like it's uh, horrible, but it's nothing to write home about either. Now, the Carnivon. Um, I mean, it's very similar to Action X, but I don't see most players play it well, so I'm unfortunately going to have to put it in... Uh, uh, good... Okay, but did receive a buff a while back, but it seems that most average players can't really take advantage of the buff, so I have to put it in okay. Uh, I think for, for good players, they'll be very strong. Uh, I think it'll be a, and um, it's a solid tank to add to your garage, but maybe not one of the first you want to pick up if you're new to the game. The Caliban, it's a meme tank. Uh, I, I don't see many average players do well with this. They think they can just nuke everything and they find themselves getting in all sorts of trouble. I think most people would say it's between, I think it won't be good for most players, but for the average player, unfortunately, yeah, I mean, they, they, you know, I, they get themselves in all sorts of trouble and they bounce shells or do much less damage than they're expecting. And it's pretty painful for them. Yeah. The Centurion. Well, uh, you know, the pew pew gun will get you in all sorts of trouble if you're playing its stock or if you're grinding it or your crew's not like over 85 percent yeah it's a rough tank to play and it's also got um 
one of the lowest win rates in the game. So it's got to go into Yuck. Uh, sorry, sorry, Caliban, how much would I pay? I think I'd have to pay around 8K for this tank. It's still relatively new. I think you'll be seeing more of them in the next six months or so. I expect it to be in the store, but I don't expect I, to stay on the battlefield that long because I think people will just get wrecked in it. That's my feeling anyway. Sent 5-1. Um, I mean, for me, it's very strong, almost OP, but I think for the average player, uh, it's very similar to the AMX-30 and its um, accomplishments. Yeah, I mean, Pew Pew Gun, if you can understand Hold Down, it's a great tank, but you know, I just don't get it why average players just don't really know how to utilize these tanks or want to use it. The, the Charity of the Gun, it works, but lack of armor really makes it suffer. Um, could almost put into good. When it was first released in the game, I would have put into good. I mean, for a good player, it would have been OP. It was really a great tank, but uh, over the years, it's lost a bit of its edge. A lot of, lost a bit of its edge. So, yeah, times have changed. Uh, by the way, since uh, I, I think I would say around 5k because they, they wargaming gave it away for free. It's been in the store a few times. I think 5k is a fair price for it. What's it worth? Well, I mean, it's a good tank, so I'd say it's worth around 7k, but I think uh, realistically, 5k is all I'd be really willing to pay for it. However, if I didn't have it, yeah, I'd, you know, I'd be willing to pay for a premium because it's worth it. What else we got here? We have the Charlemagne. Now, this is a very strong tank. Not OP, very strong, I think, for good players. I think, though, it's just going to scrape into the good category. The gun does work. The gun hits hard. Yeah, it's um, it's a pretty pretty good tank. Um, hmm. For the average player, I think it would do better than the these tanks. Yeah, I think that's that's fair. As for the price, I think it's one of the new tanks. Around it's worth around seven k, maybe even eight k. Uh, I think I'd be willing to pay around that price, seven to eight k. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you can get that, that's not a bad deal to be honest with you. We have the Chise. The Chise. The armor works, the gun works, it's decently mobile. It's, I think it does better than these tanks, and okay, so it goes into good. The Chieftain, though not quite as good. Uh, it's more mobile, but the armor is not as strong as the Chisa. The gun's not a, as intimidating. Uh, I think I would put it into good, but I think for most players it just ends up in okay. Oh, Chieftain is a premium tank, I apologize. Chieftain, I would say it's worth around 5k. I think 4k would be nicer. Uh, the Chimera, uh, I think I want to put into OP. It seems that even bad players can just, you know, they can snipe with it, so they use it as a tank destroyer, and they can do decently well because the gun does hit. Uh, you can go front line, you can be mobile, you can do a little bit of everything. I think it's one of the OP tanks in the game. Um, pretty easy to play. Longish reload, but that's about the only weakness it has. Price, I think it's worth around seven to eight k. I think you'd be able to get it for maybe six k, and I would definitely pick that up if you don't have it for that price. Chrysler for most players, um, I think for the average player, I'm gonna put an okay. Yeah, side scraping this tank is fantastic, and it has received a buff. I just don't see them played really well. I think it can be a bit of a... It can be a heavy stopper in the sense that heavies have struggled pushing on it if you're in town. Or it can be played as a medium killer because it'll get a lot of bounces from those lower caliber guns. So uh, value-wise, I think around 5k. Yeah. Uh, for that price, I think it's worth it. CS53. Um, I see it does better than these tanks, but not by much. It just scrapes into okay. Um, I think it's a pretty good tank. I would put him in good, but average player, sorry, just okay. Seems to do better than these tanks down here, although roughly the same about same same level of tank. Uh, Defender Mark One, I, I think it goes into good. Um, I would put it into OP, but I think for the average player, it does it has four shells. I mean, you can still do a lot of damage with four shells, so. Just got to be careful not to get caught out alone. That's the only problem. Hold down though, this tank is fantastic. So, yeah, it's interesting that I put these three at very different levels, or not very different, but different levels. Um, I just feel that 
the scent seven five, it doesn't have those four shells. So four shells, I mean, you can do a lot of damage, just popping out, boom, 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 boom. And even if you die, you've done like 800 damage. That's a thousand damage. So it's pretty dang good. Whereas this one, you have to pop out five or six times to do that. So that's why I make it's a hard tank. And the action actually, because it's slower, it just lends itself better to being a pop out tank, just slowly, methodically, and you don't get into too much trouble because you're slow. Um, as for the price, Defender Mark One, I, I mean, I think it's worth around seven to eight k, but I would be willing to pay around six k if you can get it for that. I think it's a, a good buy for sure. The EST seventy five, you know, solid tank. It's almost going to go into very strong. It will get quite a lot of bounces, especially from those lower caliber guns. Can be tricky. Just angling tank slightly, maybe a little bit of wiggle in. You're golden. Not very hard to play at all. Oh, price, I think I'd be willing to pay around 6k for this. I think it's a strong tank, although Wargaming gave it away for free, so 5k would be better. <laughs> but it's worth around 6k. I think the ML9051, it's close to being very strong. I don't know why people do well in this tank. Uh, it's, even though they're not great players, um, I think I'm going to put them to good. They're very strong. I, I, I've seen a lot of average players do like 4k games. I'm like, good for them. You know, if they can just. The speed allows them to back on up and get out of danger and then reload and then they pop on. Yeah, so they can work. I think it's a uh, solid tank. The price, I think it's worth around 7K. Uh, solid tank. I think it's gotten better over the years and uh, definitely one I would want to have in my garage. 7K under that, great. Uh, Emil used to be in the very strong. I think I'm just dropping it down to good. It's a little bit slow and a little bit slow. So you, if you make the decision to go the wrong way or you get stuck out alone or something like that and you get pushed on by two tanks yeah you're 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 a goner <laughs> um so can be a strong tank hold down you know this target is fantastic it's great but i played it a while ago and i felt wolf this has really lost a step shame because it was such an amazing tank when it first came out uh fcm yeah goes straight down into the bottom rank yuck yeah sorry fcm <laughs> this thing's as freaking big as a house. The gun doesn't intimidate. Every tank can pretty much pen it. It's a tough tank. I don't know what you do with it. I like this tank, but even I have to say it can go no further than an okay tank. What else we got here? We got the Ferd and oh, sorry, value wise, I think the FCM around 3.5k maybe. And you know, it's really more for a collector. Ferdinand armor better. The tungsten really helps this tank, and it's got an easy play style, but can't go further than okay. What I got here, we got the Fixer. Well, the Fixer is a tank that was in one of the season tanks. Uh, it really depends how much you've got this leveled up. Most people have not paid for it if they're just an average player, unless they're a super wallet warrior. Most people are not. Uh, average players are average for a reason. And uh, so I think it just goes into bad. But yeah, if it was fully loaded, I think it would go into okay. Can't buy it. So I think one day you'll be able to you know, come up with an option like pay like 5k and get these full load. I fully expect that to happen one day, but who knows. The Senlac, uh, I don't see them many on the battlefield, so it's really hard to assess its viability for the average player, but I think I'm going to put it to okay. It seems better than these tanks. Um, not many people know how to deal with it, really, although it's not that hard. 301, again, I think it does a little bit better than these tanks, so it just goes into okay. You know, um, I like this. Oh, sound like uh, value. It's one of the new tanks. You've got to be going to have to pay around 8K. What's its value? I think it's around a 7K tank, but I think you have to pay up in between 8 and 10 because it's quite new. A shame. It's one tank I would like to add to my garage for sure. The G Sword, easy play style, but no armor, unfortunately. It just goes into okay. Um, gun works, but it's got no armor. So, what would I pay for it? I mean, if you can get it for 6K, I think that's not a bad deal. Uh, I think I have to pay between 6 and 7K probably uh, if it comes out for sale. The Hori, it's improved, but you know, without a turret, not the best for newer players. So I'm going to stick it in OK. The Hawk, though, I see a lot of people play very poorly in this if they're not, they don't know what they're doing. And even as a seasoned player, I think this tank can only go as far as OK as well. It's better than the FCM. but Hmm. Yeah, it's an interesting tank. Uh, value, I think this is worth around 4.5k. 
or around there. So I think I have to pay around 5k because it's not that old. But yeah, um, not the worst tank in the world, but I'm not sure you want to really spend your gold on that tank. Indian Panzer goes right down here. Yes, DPM is good. Turret works, but for some reason this tank stinks. And it doesn't perform well for most players. So, sorry. Going straight into Yakut. I might move the Hulk right next to it. I'm just having to run the tapes in my mind. Uh, what I've seen over the past six or seven months ever since I did this last uh, tier thing. Uh, but, yeah. I'm being a little bit more brutal this time, considering... That I, I'm really trying to consider what the average player can do. You know, IS-2H. This is a heavy tank, but it's only going to scrape into bad. I almost want to put into yuck. I just don't see these tanks do well. It doesn't really have the armor. It doesn't have much, but it does have you know a gun that hits pretty hard. So you can contribute that way. But just off of yuck, if you ask me. IS-3 Defender. Uh, I think it pains me, but I'm still going to have to say it's okay. Three shells can be a problem. The armor has gotten a little bit of a buff, but it's lost a lot of its luster. At one point, this tank was like, whoa, the tank you wanted to have. It was pretty damn awesome. Now there's like a frick ton of awesome tanks. So how much would I be willing to pay for this? Maximum around 5K. What's it worth? 4.5, I think. Yeah. And you could just pick up the IS-3, which is an okay tank, similar to the IS-3 Defender. IS-5, well, where would I put that? Surprisingly, I put it right next to the IS-3. Yeah, it's an okay tank. Um, you'll be able to support your team, take a few hits, punish a few tanks. You know, it's not hard to do between 800 and 1200 damage in this tank. So you're contributing to the team. It's not saying it's amazing, but it's not hard to do. That's like three shells, right? So how much would I pay for it? 1,500 gold. Why? Because you can get it as a clan reward, which is a really nice support thing to do, I must say. The IS-6 Fearless goes right next to this. You can't buy it. Uh, you can only earn it for you know tournaments and things like that. Uh, get those coins. If you see them on the battlefield, usually the players are very good or good. They do know what they're doing to a certain extent. But the tank has you know suffered like many of the older tanks, so it's just going to go in okay. And guess where the IS-6 goes? Unshockingly, right next to the you get some crazy bounces in this tank. It's it's a weird one, but yeah, it's um, lost its uh, OPS a long time ago. The IC-130, much improved tank, but I can't put it further than good because you know you're team dependent, and um, I definitely think you should be running tungsten shells. Oh, sorry. Um, IS-6, how much would I pay for this? Uh, 4K around there. It's you know one of the old crowd. What's it worth? Around 4K. Uh, ISU-130 is in, improved. I think this is worth around 5K now. I think you'll be able to get it for 4K. Yeah, that's what I'd be willing to pay for that. ISU-152, again, good tank. You'll be able to contribute to the team for sure. You might be able to do great damage, but just really depends on how things shake out in the game. Uh, the Jaegeru, I think it's an easy tank to play. Absolutely solid gun. But I can't go higher than um, okay for the average player. You know, they just sit back and snipe, and they just sit there sometimes for the entire game, no movement, nothing. And that can work, but oftentimes doesn't, depending what map, depending what position. Value, I think it's worth 5k. And they often have these kind of sales where they put it up for 5k plus 30 days premium. That's a great deal. I think it's worth it. Likewise with the uh, Yak Tiger 8.8. .8. Same thing, same thing. It's identical. I just think I prefer the uh, camel here. Looks cool. J Panther doesn't have a, any um, thing wrong with it. It's a solid tank, but because it doesn't have turret, likewise, it just goes into okay. Yeah, I think you're noticing a trend. The uh, Kanonen again, same issue. It's very much similar, very similar to the CDA. I think it's a worse CDA. It's faster, uh, better camel. I think. I would take this over the CDA, in my opinion. What's it worth? 5K. It's not that old. It's a pretty fun tank. If you don't have a tank destroyer, I would say it's pretty good. The Keeler. Um, this is a heavy tank, and I think it goes straight into good 
almost very strong, but I'm going to stick with good for the average player. Uh, you will get bounces. You've got enough hit points. You've got a gun that works. Yeah. Uh, Value-wise, I think this is worth around 6K, 6.5K. But I think you'd be able to pick it up for about 6K. Yeah. Um, maybe even 5K if you're lucky. If you can, that's I would say it's a very good deal. One I would definitely want to add in my garage. The T27. Those three shells can be dangerous. But it doesn't have the armor, so I think I can only stick it in okay. It, to me, it's a better IS-3 defender, but you've got to rely on speed rather than armor. That's your weapon. As for value, I think nowadays, uh, maybe 6K at max. Uh, 5K is more realistic. I think that's what I'd be willing to part with. But, uh, let's go to T56. Well, the armor does work. The armor does work. Not the best tank, but I think it's the best of the IS-3 variants, so it goes into good can be a scary tank to deal with sometimes for sure in certain positions. The KPC-07, well, I think for pros, this goes into very strong. But for the average player, sadly, it just goes into OK. Oh, sorry. Let's go to the T-56. What value is it? 6.5K. I think you'd be able to get this for around 5K. And I think that's a smoking deal at that price. KPC-7, newer tank. Uh, I think you'd be able to get this for around 8K. What's it worth? 6.5, maybe? Maybe 6.5, around there. That's what it's worth, but I think you'd have to pay around 8k for that thing. This is not a tank I see very often on the battlefield. It's hard to judge, but I think I'm just going to put it right next to the 07. Uh, the heavy variant of this, yeah, it hits hard. Yeah, nothing to write home about. Yeah. KB4, um, yeah, you'll see some people really stink at it. It's slow and it. <sighs> So I think it has to go only in OK. I don't think I can put higher than that. Yeah, you, know, you should be able to take some hits for your team at least, if nothing else. So that's good. KV5. I, 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 I'm struggling with this one. I want to put in good. I would put in very strong. But average player, they get scared and they don't take advantage of bouncing shells. So. I'll put it here and the value i think you can pick this up for 5k i think it's a fair price it is a strong tank but it's definitely not uh, op if you don't know what you're doing with it so yeah i'm gonna go with okay well it's unfortunate it goes into bad um yeah it doesn't have the intimidation factor uh what would i pay for the lanson i think it's worth around 5k just because of the new factor what's it worth i don't know 4.5k Maybe somewhere around there. The uh, Bulldog, that speed can get you in danger. The lack of armor gets you in danger. It does a little bit better than the tanks, but not by much. So I'm just going to put it here. Just just spot and be in a hide. Protect those hit points, and you'll do better than you realize. Lorraine. Hmm, just thinking here. Oh, sorry. Uh, Lanson value, as I said, uh, around 5K. Uh, Bulldog, I think it's worth around 4K now. 4.5K max. I think you should be able to pick it up for that price. Looks cool. I gotta give it that. Um, the Lorraine. Yep, no armor's gonna hurt it. I don't see them do very well in the battlefield. That speed can get them in all sorts of trouble. I think it's better than these tanks, but I, I don't think it's good enough to get into the okay category. Sorry. For Lorraine Fearless, well, it just goes right here because it's just a variant of that. Almost identical. Uh, LT42, that speed can get you in all sorts of trouble, so I can only put it in bad. Uh, sorry, Lorraine 5010, I think it's worth around 5k. That It's kind of a fun tank, but I think you should be able to get it for around 4k. That's its value, I think, in today's uh, game. The uh, LT432, I think you'd pick this up for around 5k last year, so I think it's worth around 4k, 4.5k. Um, that's the price I'd be looking to pay for this tank. It's not that strong if you don't know what you're doing. Luva is a solid tank. Um, I think it goes into good. I mean, gun works. The armor decently works. I think it's slightly better than some of these tanks. And you do have a good coefficient. So how much would I want to pay for it? Usually get it for 5,000K plus 38 days. Excuse me. I apologize about that. Um, I think that coefficient really helps it. Uh, just think if I should put it in the OK category. Yeah, maybe OK. Yeah, sorry. I have to rethink that. Yeah, it just could only go into OK. But um, hmm. I think it's uh, not a bad tank if you want to earn some credits. Uh, the Yo, it's a good tank. Um, nothing to say about it. 
know, it's a tech tree tank, three shells, solid tank. Um, don't seem to do too well with it. The Yo, I think, is the same. Um, it's slightly different. Not an auto loader per se, it's just a single shotgun with four shells, which is weird, but unique in the game. Uh, but the armor does work against those lower caliber guns, and uh, in the right position, you can really cause some trouble. And if I'm in a tier 7 medium tank and I'm facing off with it, he's hold down, it's like, oh, for goodness sake, you need prime one even then. And he's bouncing a lot of shells. Value wise, I think this is worth around 6k. Uh, how much would I be willing to pay for it? Around 6k. I wouldn't pay more than that. It's not that interesting, not that much fun. The Rumpanza, unfortunately, goes right here. It's same vein as these tanks, around the same level as the Lance, and how much would I pay for it? Around 5k. Um, what's its value? Around 5k. Uh, it does look good, and I think it's more for the collector, but it's not a tank you really want to have in the garage. Red 4, not much armor. It's quite high, and it's hard to take advantage of that gun depression precisely, so uh, I see a lot of people do poorly in it. Um, I think it's only value wise, I think it's worth around 4.5k. I think you should be get you'd be able to get it for around that price to 4.5, uh, maybe 4,000 would be better. M6, I mean, <laughs> took it out for a spin today. Yeah, it worked. It's easy to play, it's slow, it's hard. Armor can get a few bounces, especially against people who don't know what they're doing. But against a seasoned player, yeah, they'll be able to shred you. Value around 5k, uh, 4.5, 5k around that zone. Then beyond, it's a medium tank. This goes into bad. Yeah, don't seem played very well on the battlefield at all. Likewise, if I had to fix three, if it was fully loaded, it might be a little bit better, but unfortunately, um, I don't think most people have it fully loaded, so it's just going to stay there. And likewise, with the 047, um, doesn't have the intimidation factor, but it seems to do slightly better than the FCM and the Centurions out there. Uh, it did get a buff a while back, so it's nothing to write home about. And I think you often see on the battlefield. I think it's worth around 3.5k. Uh, object 252, for whatever reason, people still can't pen it. Uh, just a lot of newer players, they struggle, so you come across that and it's cool. I'm going to put in two. Very good, actually. Yeah, uh, even bad players can make this tank uh, work. Yeah. It's all about the armor, though. If you sit back and snipe, then you're really not taking advantage of this tank's uh, troll, troll armor. can be a fun, fun uh, tank to do. How much is it worth? I think it's worth around 6.5 to 7k, but because it's older, and I was able to pick it up around 5k, I think that's all I would pay for this tank. But if you don't have it, this is one tank you definitely want to have. Fun, best variant of the IS line. The T T274, uh, it's nothing to write home about. Yeah, the gun does hit slightly harder than some of the other mediums, but yeah, nothing special. How much would I pay for it? Around 5k. What's it worth? Around 5k. That's, yeah. Pantera. Um, because of that autoloader, I see it doing a slightly better, so it goes into okay. Uh, I think a good player would be able to put it into good, almost very strong, but yeah, fun tank to play. Definitely one you want to earn your way up. Uh, Panzer 8.8 Millie always thinks you see on the battlefield, they just get ripped to shreds. Um, it's a horrible tank, horrible, horrible, horrible tank. What's it worth? I mean, 3k. Yeah, I'm sorry, it stinks, it stinks, it stinks. Panther 2, again, I just think I was gonna put it around there. It usually always gets its ass kicked, although you know, against the right tanks, it can cause some problems, might get into bad. Um, I'll but I'm just going to leave in Yuck right now for, because it just doesn't seem to perform well. Panzer 58 goes right here for the average player. And I said Indian. What can I say? Indian don't do well. Panzers don't do well. I would say, what's it worth? Around 4K, 3.5K. It's not a good tank. You don't really want this unless you've got every other tank out there. Pershing. I think it scrapes into bad. Um... Um, mm, mm, I'm thinking here. Games I've had recently. Yeah, it just avoids getting put into the bad category for whatever reason. Just people seem to do slightly better than the other tanks I've put in the uh, category. Progetto 46. 
I'm gonna have to put it right next to the uh, Progetto. That autoloader can be a problem, and you can really help out your team. Um, just be careful not to overextend too much and get in trouble. Borsig. Um, it doesn't. It's a, it's kind of either you do great or you do horrible, and oftentimes you do horrible if you're not a very good player. So I have to put it in bad, no armor. It feels very much like a Caliban. It's you either like be able to wreck people, and you're like woohoo, or you just get steamrolled and vaporized to high heaven. Or two five one, the speed gets in all sorts of trouble for good players. So, I mean, for bad players or average players. Uh, so it has to go into bad, like the Hulk. Uh, what's it? it it's you know, take tree so you, know, you, know, you can just get it for free if you want. And um, if you just imagine it going ten kilometers slower, then you've got a Hulk. The scepter right alongside the eel. Yeah, three shells and heavy. That's always going to be dangerous. Um, this tank is an interesting tank. Uh, because of the turret, I think I'm going to put it into the okay category. Um, the gun does hit hard and it is fast, but it has no armor, so just be aware of that. What's its value? I guess it's worth around 7k because of its newness. I think I have to pay between 8 to 9k for this tank if you want it. Uh, what's it worth? Set around seven, six point five, realistically, I think. We've still got a ways to go. My goodness me. Um, the Scorpion G. Well, I think this is a okay tank. Uh, if you get lit up, say good nighty night. Uh, but it's a fun tank. Um, what's the value? I think it's worth around five k. That's how much I'd be paying for it too. CC64, even in a bad player's hands, can do decently well. If you go hold down, it can put it into very strong or OP, which I is where I would put it. But I think if a lot of players play it on flat ground and yeah, they, they find, oh, why am I getting my butt kicked? Yeah, well, that's why. Great tank. Uh, Soma SU, three shells, can always be a you know, valuable thing on the battlefield. I don't think it gets into good if you're a good player. Or a very good player, I'd put it into good, but for the average player, again, I have to put it only okay. Value wise, I'm gonna go with around 5k. That's how much I pay for it, that's how much I think it's worth. The ST62, not a tank I see on the battlefield very often, uh, so it's hard to really judge, but I think I'm gonna put it in the okay category because people don't know how to deal with it. You can actually do decently well. Um, yeah. I think that's where it goes. As for the value, I think it's worth around between, I think it's worth around 7K, but you probably have to pay 8 or even 9K for this because it's newness, which is a shame, unfortunately. The STA goes right here. It stinks. My goodness, this tank is horrible for newer players. It's one of the worst. Um, yeah, just you don't want to be playing this tank unless you know what you're doing. I'm sorry. STG, also a tank that I don't see people do very well. It's just hard to manufacture shots. Gun does hit hard, so if you can use that work and snipe, uh, if you can use make that gun work, just snipe, uh, use your opportunities. You can do quite well in it, but I'm going to go only in bad value-wise. I think it's worth around 5K. I'd be willing to pay around 4K. No, I think it's worth around 4.5K. I think it's more realistic. I, mean, I think you should be wanting to pay maximum 4k for this tank, just because of the uh, how tough it is. The Stratzwagen 81, well, soon we're going to find out just how good or bad this tank is, as everybody's going to be running around with it, or it, they will have been running around with it by the time this video drops. I'll be picking up mine tomorrow, I believe. So I'm looking forward to that. New tanks in my garage. I think it's going to end up in the OK category from what I've seen from other people playing it. SU-101. It's gonna go here. This is a tough tank for newer players. No gun depression. The gun does work, but getting those shots in can be a real tough deal. So, sorry, it goes into the yuck. SC-130. Uh, no armor, but the gun definitely works, and that camouflage really helps it out, so it goes into the okay category. Value-wise, I think this is worth around 6k. How much are people willing to pay for it? Around 5k. The T20, um, you know, it's a heavy tank. It's an IS3 variant, so guess where it goes? Right there. What's it worth? 4K. Uh, how much would I pay for it? Around 4K. I think it's maybe 4.5 max. 
I'm not a tank. I really think it's worth picking up. T34-2, unfortunately, a lot of players, players don't know how to do well with medium, so go straight into the bad category. But, I mean, the turret works. The gun is great. Aiming tank is great as well. Um, T34-3 goes right next to it. Same attributes, pretty much. Slightly bigger tank. So if you can use these in platoon, they're actually very deadly because the guns hit so dang hard. Uh, Value-wise, I think this is worth around 4.5k. I think it'd be, you know, maybe 4k is what the price should be, generally speaking. The T T44100. Uh, I think it goes into the yuck category. Just don't see them do well in the battlefield. Sorry. Uh, what's its value? 3.5k, about there. How much will I be willing to pay? Around that price, 3.5k. T44 goes right next to it, sorry. It's just not a tank that does that well. It used to be the creme de la creme when it came to medium tanks in tier 8 a long, 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 long time ago. Those days have come and gone. Now, don't often see them do very well in the battlefield. T54 lightweight, it's pretty much a T44, but it's a little bit faster. It's even got better armor, if I'm not, not mistaken. It goes into bad. Slightly better than these tanks, but nothing to write home about. The T54 Mod 1, same diff. The armor seems to work slightly better than the tanks below it, but nothing to write home about. Uh, the pilot. Oh, sorry, T54 Mod 1, I think value-wise, I think it's worth around 4.5k. I think you may be able to get it for around 4k. T25 Mod 1, it did, it did receive some buffs, so it's... um. And that's something good about it. Finally, uh, they gave it a little bit of love. That tank needed something, for goodness sake. But it's not a tank I think most people do well in, but they'll do better than these tanks in the category. Just ever so slightly. I mean, it's got pretty much everything it could want. <laughs> it's got um, tungsten, it's got reactive armor, it's got super speed boost, so you can deck this thing out. And it's even got the uh, radical calibration, so goodness me. Um, you've got a heck of a lot of things to play with on this thing. If I were going to choose, I think I might choose speed boost and tungsten, or tungsten and adrenaline. 50-50 eh, on that one. So, But a... Some of these tanks, I wish they'd give like four consumables, actually. I know that's crazy, but just some of the weak tanks, giving them a little bit of an advantage, that would be nice. But we can dream, right? Uh, value. It's worth around 4K. How much would I be willing to pay for? Around 3.5K. T26 E4, it's got in the buff. Uh, I don't see many people do very well in it, though, despite that. So it just goes into the bad category. What's it worth? What's well, old? It's one of the original tanks. It's worth around 4k. How much would I pay for it? Around 3.5k. T26 E5 E5 seems to do slightly better. So it's gonna go into the okay category value-wise. I think it's worth around 5k. How much would I want to pay for it? Around 5k. Maybe 4.5. Not really over 5k, 5k, I don't think. What else have we got? The defender, T28 defender. Well, three shells can always be um, Asset to your team, and it's a tank destroyer, so just snipe away and rock their world. Goes into okay. Um, I rather like the tank, but it's not everyone's cup of tea. It's a little bit too slow for most people. T28 Defender goes right next to it. Oh, T28 Defender, how much would I pay for it? I think it's worth around 5k. How much would you be willing to pay for it? Around 4.5k or 4k. I think that's what it's valued to be. T28. The gun works, but it's freaking slow. If you choose the wrong positions, you're gonna get in all sorts of trouble. So unfortunately, I'm downgrading this tank. Although the speed boost is nice, I don't think it gets it into the okay category. Well, you know, if you're at the right time, right position, you can do really well in this tank. If enemies just keep pushing on you and you're, you know, secure, yeah, easy game sometimes. T32, um, hold down, it's very good. The turret works, but nothing that great don't see them played very well by average players so there you go t34 and it's a heavy tank so heavy tank is good the gun hits hard you know what i put it in the okay category it's not good enough to go into good but it's just as good as the m6 a2e1 and likewise the t34 and i'm going to group it both together the t34 and the T34 1976 value-wise, it's they're worth around 5k. They 
can perform, how much would I willing to pay for them around 3.5k just because they're older tanks. Be fearless. Well, you can't get this for free. I think for most players, unfortunately, it goes into the bad category because they don't have a spot or do damage. But fearless, of course, is one that you have to earn. So if you see them on the battlefield, be wary. T49 doesn't have any armor. If you don't have a spot, you're going to end up in a whole lot of trouble, just like the NX 1319. So I can only put it in bad. I think it's a great tank. Well, I mean, I'd put it in the good category. If it is fun, that's what it is. So, yeah. Okay, we're coming up to 50 minutes here. We've still got a ways to go. Hopefully, we can get this in within an hour. Let's see how we go. T54, E2, where? Any ideas, any takers? Where do you think this is going to end up? We're okay. We're moving up. We're moving up. We're moving up. Yeah, but go straight into OP. This tank can bounce shells. It can dish out the damage. It's played well, even by bad players. It can carry teams in this tank. It goes into OP. Oh, value, sorry. Um, I mean, it's worth around 7K. I think it was available for 5K last year. <laughs> so I wouldn't want to pay more than 5K, but, but I mean, if you can pick it up for 6K, that's still a good price. But it's worth around 7K. T69, I think it's very similar to like the Fearless or the Lorraine in the sense it's got three. This one's three shells for us. Don't see them play very well, but yeah, you, you can have those you know games here and there. The T77 though is a game that sorry is a tank that can do well in this game even if you're not that skilled. I think I'm going to put it into very strong, especially if you platoon with it. Um, those two shells can cause all sorts of trouble. Just remember, you might need primal against some of the weaker, uh, some of the stronger armored tanks. The T95E2 it goes straight next. To the pattern, I'll just shove it there because these tanks are almost identical in their strengths and weaknesses. Very, very similar playstyle. How much is it worth? I think it's worth around 4k. How much would you willing to pay for it? Around 3.5k, nothing more than that. Tiger 2, where would the Tiger 2 end up? Any bets? It's going to okay. Is it going to move any further? The answer is well, yeah, it goes into the good category. Almost very strong. The reason I can't do it is I see a lot of bad players just get absolutely shredded despite being in a Tiger 2. But if you know what you're doing, the tank is very strong, uh, I think. So between those two, I'm going to put it around a good average player should be able to do okay with it, not too bad. Titan T54D. Um, the Garmin works, so I'm actually going to put this as a medium into the okay category, one of the few mediums that makes the cut. But yeah, the armor can be um, effective against some of those guns. Charioteer, though, for whatever reason, I just don't see it performing very well. Don't see many on the battlefield. I think that tells you something. If it was very a very good tank, more people would be taking out. But even when I see them taking out, I don't see them doing as well as the uh, charioteer that I believe I put in. Yes, OK. So sorry about that, Titan. Um, the TNH 100 is a variant of the IS-3 Defender, pretty much. So it goes right next to those tanks in this category. It's an OT tank. Hmm. Uh, the Tornwagen, this is a tank that can really uh, do all sorts of crazy things in the battlefield. Uh, if you can go hold down your golden, the gun does hit hard. And so because of that, um, I'm torn between putting it into very strong and Good. I think I only put it into good. You gotta understand how to go hull down. You don't wanna push in too aggressively and just get swarmed. But so that that's the reason I see some people get in trouble with this tank. Um, they drive it on flat ground. They don't take advantage of its uh, very small turret, very strong turret. So I just gonna I'm gonna put it into good value wise. I think this is worth around 7k. Uh, I think I have to pay around. 7k to pick it up. Maybe you'll get lucky about 6k. Yeah. Wouldn't be surprised if you get lucky. Anyway, so the TS5, the armor does work. I think it's slightly better than the T28. So I'm going to put TS5 over in here. Yeah. Um, can cause trouble for those weaker caliber guns. And definitely dishes out the damage. The TS60, 
I think is going to go in the same category as well. It feels like a heavy, where'd it go? Sorry, I know that it is. Yeah, I think this one stays here. I'm sorry, T28. But the TS30 goes into this category. Yeah, can be a strong tank. But for the most, for most players, uh, most average players, I think it can only be okay. I would think this is worth around 6K. I'd be willing to pay around 6K for that. You might have to pay a premium though, because it's a little bit newer. So maybe 7K would be nicer. The Turtle, not a tank that people play very often. You don't see it on the battlefield. Uh, it's like a tortoise, you could dish out the damage, but don't get caught out alone. So it goes into my bad category. Uh, slow, no turret, yeah, it fits the bill. TVP, it's essentially a Nebulon, so yeah, just put it right there. Oh, turtle value wise, I think you get it for around 4k last year, so I think it's worth around 4k. Type 57, this is a weird tank, very strong if you know what you're doing. Uh, if you don't, of course, you can get ripped apart like any tank, but I still think it scrapes into good because the gun, it, it's hard, it really does. Just aim all the way in, you'll be fine. The T-54 was once the creme de la creme. Now it's relegated to the bad category. Sorry. Yeah, it's not fast enough. It needs a sp some sort of boost. Giving a speed boost might really help. Um, that way you could you know, get to positions and do it. But now you just you feel so lumbered. You're like, chugga, look, look, look. Value-wise, I think it's worth around 4.5K. And I wouldn't pay, I think 4K is a more realistic number, considering it's not the best anymore. The VK100, I mean, the armor can work even if you're just the average player and the gun definitely hits hard. I'm going, okay. The VK168, which people don't seem to do very well in, unfortunately, uh, but I still think it can take shells, you can hit hard. It's not that hard to play. It goes into okay. How much would I pay for it? Well, I think it's worth around 4K. I think you'll be able to pick it up for around 4K. Is it? I, mean, I think it's around my fifth fair, I guess. Maybe 3.5 would be better, or 3K. The VK4502 is a heavium type tank. It's only gonna go into OK. Um, it's verging on going into bad because I'm thinking about the average player. They just don't know how to play the tank very well, but it does have tons of shells. So that gets gives it a little bit of a bump. WZ111 is not a tank you often see on the battlefield. It's just going to scrape into OK as it's a variant of the IS-3s. So you can just scrape it in there. The 111 is one of the better tank destroyers in Tier 8. You have to go to a tank destroyer position, but yeah, I think it's going to scrape into OK. I think uh, it's a almost very strong tank, actually. I really like this tank. but. Uh, I think for the average player, it's going to be here. Hmm. But a fun tank, and one you can grind. So WZ111 has gotten a lot of buffs, just like the pilot. So I'm going to put it right in the OK category still, along with all the other IS3 variants. What else we got? We got four more tanks left, and coming up to the hour, the WZ111-2 is one of the better variants. Uh, I don't think it's going to have enough to get it out of the OK category. Yeah, the gun is a bit troll, um, but that reverse is fantastic. Now, the WZ-121 GFT, even bad players can do quite well in this tank um, because the gun works, the camo works, so it goes into good. The only thing holding it back from going to very strong is the lack of hit points. Take two shells from Tier 9 tanks, and you are a goner, pretty much. Your game is over. So against tier seven tanks though, this tank is very strong for sure. The WZ122TM is very much a Chimera type tank. Will it make it into the level of good? I don't think so. I think I'm just gonna keep it along with all the other okay tanks because it's a little bit slow. It's more like a heavy tank, seems to be as effective as most IS-3 tanks. I like it though. It's uh, it's one of my, more one tank, I, one of the more enjoyable tanks in tier eight for me. Um, and I do quite well on it. Value wise, I think this is worth around 6K because uh, it does a little bit troll. And I think you'll be able to get it for around 5K. And I'd say that would be a good deal if you can pick it out. 
The last one, WZ132, Will has no armor, so it goes into bad. You're going to go into all sorts of trouble. And there you go, an hour's time of putting these together for you. Um, let's see if I move things around. Any, would I move the Chimera out? Or the T-50? No, I'm going to keep them there. Should I move any other tank into OP? I kind of want to move the 53 TP, but I'm keeping them very strong, so I'm happy with that. As for any good tanks, would I move them up a little bit higher? Mm -hmm. If the average player, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna, I'm unhappy with that. I do think that the T57 can be a very strong tank, likewise with the T Tiger II and the Torn Rug and the CC61, but it's got to be played well. If not, it's just okay on the battlefield. So I can only put it in good, yes. And I think I'm happy with these tanks all here. Yep, 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 yep. That looks pretty good. These tanks, you'll be able to do okay. If you're an average player, you'll do okay. And then you won't dominate. You won't, you know, be able to carry teams usually, but you'll be able to help contribute to your team for sure. Likewise, in the bad category, if you're an okay player, you'll be able to help your team out somewhat, but you'll be dying a lot faster. You'll struggle and uh, not really help your team to victory, my guess would be. And lastly, I think these tanks are the toughest tanks for average players to play. They are not very good. The guns don't intimidate. They don't have anything going for them. It would be nice if these tanks had a great pen on their Pramo, which, I mean, Centurion has a great pen, granted, but the, you know, the Alpha is so low, so maybe a little bit even extra pen would be really nice, uh, or maybe some more speed. Give them five kilometers more, and all these tanks become much more interesting. I think the Panther 2 give it 10, 10 um, kilometers more in speed, and you've got a very interesting tank. STA maybe give it even better pen, uh, maybe less speed is not necessary, but even better pen, or a vary these tanks somewhat. They're too similar. All these medium tanks that just do okay, unfortunately, in average players' hands, tend to do pretty dang poorly. And that is why some of these tanks are the lowest win rates in tier eight. So those are my thoughts. Do you agree with me? Do you not agree with me? Do you have any questions about these tanks that I've said? Of course, you're free to let me know in the comments below what an idiot I am. But remember, I have played a hundred thousand battles for or thereabouts. I know pretty much all the tiers, all the tanks, especially from tiers five, or I should say tiers three through ten. Don't really know tiers one and two, don't care about them. And now I've forgotten tier threes and fours ever since they basically got rid of them being fun and interesting tiers. But from tier five, yeah, I, I know these tanks quite well. I know how they perform in a good player's hands, in an okay player's hands, and in a poor player's hands. Some tanks, they will just perform decently to great, no matter who's driving them. Other tanks, though, yeah, you, you can only be a good player to um, really make the most out of them. But just remember, you can have a great game in any tank just because you're in the right position, the right time, the right map, it just works for you. Uh, I've been in a position where I just decided, you know what, I'm going to go to this position to snipe, and every tank just seemed to walk right in front of my gun, and I was taking no hits in return, so I was like, invisible. I'm like, I just did 4K in my lowly T44. You know, that's pretty nice. You know, what happens? You know, the gods just say, hey, you know, you've earned this, but... Most of the time, that's not going to happen. So these tanks will, if you wanted to adjust these for pros, pretty much move all these tanks, just like kind of move up one level. So move all these very strong, probably up a rank and the good into very strong and pretty close. Um, as for some okay would move into good and some bad would move into okay. Uh, for example, let's say, I would say in a, in a very good player's hands, the, I think the LT432 would go into very good, almost very, uh, sorry, good or very strong because they really know how to take advantage of its speed, but I think most players don't. So that's why it goes where it goes. 
hope that makes sense. I hope that was valuable for you. Hope you're going to enjoy the summer events and I hope you pick up some nice bonuses or rewards or free stuff here and there that Wargaming will be definitely dishing out because of the 10 year anniversary. And uh, yeah, that's today's video. Hope you enjoyed it and you were able to stick around. I'll see you tomorrow. Snugs on Blitz.